Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ayana Grace. And today, of course, we are doing a date night Valentine's Day look. We're trying, we're going for grown and sexy here, you know. Um, Y'all feeling this? This is, this year, well, this Valentine's Day is going to be my first and hopefully only Valentine's Day as a fiancé. So hopefully, you know, it's very beautiful and magical and all that good stuff but you know even if you're not like even if you don't have a valentine a date a fiance a boyfriend a husband blah 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 i hope you and your girls you and your friends y'all go out y'all have a blast y'all do some fun stuff all that kind of stuff and you recreate my makeup video because like i love to see it so if you're interested in how i created this look please stay tuned for the rest of the video okay guys so we're gonna start off well first of all you know i gotta do the little rundown um, I did do my brows and my face already off camera. If you guys want to see my off camera routine, which is my brows, my like foundation routine, and my lashes, um, I have a my off camera routine video on my channel, so please go check that out. But we are just focused on the um, trimmings today. And we're going to start off by priming our brows. I am going to be using the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the color Deep Chestnut to prime my brows. And then I am going to go over with that and set it with the Becca Cosmetic Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I always mess this name up, but that's what we're doing, y'all. So for today's look, we're going to be using the Ace Beauty Quintessential Eyeshadow Palette. This is just like so pretty and I've actually had this palette for like over a year now, almost two years and I've never really used it. Like the only reason why it looks somewhat used, used is because I tested some colors out before this video so i'm really excited to use this it looks very regal and beautiful and then i am going to be using the douce by juvia's place palette as well love these colors in here so i'm excited like y'all ready is y'all ready for this okay so, um, I'm first going to go in with a transition shade. The transition shade I'm going to be using is the color Nutmeg. I actually love it when eyeshadow palettes put the names, like, on the palette. Because that way, I don't struggle trying to keep up with the little plastic thing that comes in here. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, I'm going to be going in with the color Nutmeg as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to take this beautiful, like, hazelnut brown. I don't know. It's just a brown. I'm going to go in with this brown color, cinnamon, and I'm basically going to apply it all over my lid. Now, I'm not so much worried about getting the bottom of my lid because it is going to be a cut crease. That's not going to really matter, but, you know... 
just have fun guys i'm just gonna do it kids we're about to try something crazy now okay don't try this at home just kidding you can try it at home um i am going to be mixing these two colors rosewood and berry on my brush um one is a matte and one is a shimmer we don't know how this is going to turn out if it turns out y'all should try it if it doesn't turn out good i don't know like I'm sorry. But um I just don't have the perfect like color that I want for this eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna make it. And I'm really excited about doing this because you know shimmers and mattes, they don't always mix well together, but we're about to see. So I'm gonna be using rosewood and berry and just um with the same fluffy blending brush that I use for my transition shade. Um I did use my little color switcher to get majority of the brown off and then I'm just gonna you know go in I actually like how they mix well together oh um, that's my new thing now y'all start doing that more often but yes this is like exactly what i was looking for so next i'm gonna go in with my duce palette by juvia's place and i'm going to be using this really deep brown dark brown chocolate the color is chocolate okay Oops. sorry um, and we're going to really do like, we're going to smoke out that outer corner and, but we are going to take like a smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm really going to concentrate it like on the outer corner of my eyelid. I don't want to just like really bring it over in here because I am doing um, a cut crease. It's just going to be hard to cover up dark colors with a concealer. So I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner, you know, and we're going to create, create this little smoke session over here. go back in with my ace beauty palette and i'm gonna be using this black right here um i know i'm gonna butcher that name so i'm not gonna even say it but um i'm gonna go in this black color and i am just gonna deepen that brown that i added out there just to make it like real smoky you know we're doing like we're going for grown and sexy here so you know, I feel like adding a little black to deepen that smoke is grown and sexy. to create that cut crease now if you watch if you are a avid watcher family member i need to find a name for my subscribers i don't think i have enough to like give y'all a name yet but just know like it's in my brain i'm thinking of one 
but if you are not new to my channel you know that me and my eye shape we um, have a love-hate relationship so I often create new shapes for my eyes so um if you have like big beautiful eyes and you have a big lid with a perfectly defined crease you know just follow that that makes it easier just follow the crease in your eyes if you're like me and you have these little tiny eyes and tiny eyelids we gotta do a little magic here so i am going to be creating a crease for myself um i usually just kind of like dig into like where my eyeball like sits and then that is where i apply my concealer So now that I have added the concealer to my crease, I am going to be use, going in with this beautiful shimmer jasmine. And then I'm going to go on top of it with this kind of more of a like golden shimmer um, bergamot. I think that's what it is. But um, I'm going to, it's kind of like a mixture of it, but I want to layer it. Um, this one is really pretty, but it's just a tad bit too light for me for what i'm going for so that's what i'm gonna go over with this one but um you know let's do it first i do want to make sure that i spray my brush with some setting spray and i'm going to be using the iconic london prep set glow setting spray <music> y'all one thing about me child i love mixing some colors together okay i don't know what it is i be doing i don't know why i can't just stick with the color that is in the palette but i gotta make some type of concoction and you know what that's my business okay so now i'm going to go back in a little bit with both nutmeg and sim uh, and cinnamon and I am just going to go over that edge of, like, where that little brown halo is kind of, like, right above my cut crease. Y'all know? And I'm just going to try to, like, make that a little more seamless and, you know, flawless and beautiful, all that good stuff. So the last thing for this eyeshadow look, I am going to go back in with that brown chocolate color in the Juvia's Place palette. And I am going to apply that kind of, um, I'm going to kind of use it to blend the shimmer and the matte together so that it is also seamless. Okay. <music> Like, 
right. This is giving me grown and sexy vibes. Y'all feeling it? Yes. Yes. All right. So our blush today, we're going to be using a fan favorite. Y'all know this is my favorite blush palette for dark skin. And we're going to be using that color Candela. For my highlight today, I am going to be using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the color Ginger Binge and my Skull Mule. Y'all, please excuse all the glued on glitter that is on the back of my highlighter palette. Um, that is what happens when you travel with loose glitters and eyelash glue. All right, so um, what I like to do is just kind of like get a mixture of both in there. It's such a pretty color. I feel like it's very Valentine's Day vibes. So why not? I haven't used this one in a while. And we're just going to apply that everywhere and just like look flawless. So, I got a little surprise for y'all. We're trying something new today, okay? Um, I got the... I'm just all over the place today. I got these little numbers recently. And I've been dying to try these. And I said, of course, I wanted to try them on camera with you guys. Because, like, you know, I feel like y'all deserve that for me. I am going to try for the first time ever magnetic eyelashes. I think the idea of this is so cool. So we're going to see if we like really care for them. Um, it does come with this liquid eyeliner. Um, now, pray for me y'all because I normally use a felt tip liner pencil and it's just easier for me but you know we're gonna try this and hopefully i don't screw it up but you just apply the eyeliner like you would normally apply on your eyes and then apparently these just like plop on and you don't have to wait for it to dry you don't have to do all this kind of stuff so we're gonna check it out y'all we're gonna check it out we're gonna start with this eyeliner hopefully it's not gray and it's nice and black and all that good stuff i don't think i'm gonna do like a cat eyeliner because i feel like the smoky eye is like dramatic enough so eyeliner here we go guys so the application wasn't that bad i'm not gonna lie it smells like i don't know it smells like it's not supposed to be on your eyes if that makes sense it smells like something i don't know how to explain it but um i normally like can get really sensitive with certain eyeliners or anything that goes on my eyes and this doesn't like as of now, it's not giving me like a weird reaction or, or like burning sensation. So, we're okay as of now. Um, it also is very black. I love that. I need a very black eyeliner. So, now I'm going to take the lashes. I guess you don't have to put the glue on it. You don't have to do none of that crazy stuff. So, we're just about to see. And just like that. Like, I mean, literally, I just legit just dropped a lash on my eye. 
and it's on there. I cannot lie, like, I mean, of course you can't like rip it off, but it doesn't feel like it's going to like fall off or anything. And that was really easy to put on, like, okay. I like this. I feel like it's really simple. I feel like, you know, if you're rushing or something, or if you're not good at putting on lashes, this would be really great because I know depending on, like, the type of eye lash glue, like, sometimes if you can't get it on right, you'll have eyelash glue all over your pretty little eyeshadow looks and stuff. So, this is really good. We like this. We approve, okay? I mean, like, literally that simple. And they are on there, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This might be a thing. Y'all see how I instantly just turned into a bad bitch? Ooh. What? To finish this look off, we are going to uh, do our lips. To line my lips, I am going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Ultimate Lip Definer in the color Confident. Love that. Love that name. Yes, Becca Cosmetics. Like, we're here for it. And um, red is already bold enough, so I'm not going to overline my lips because I feel like I'm going to be all lips. And for our lipstick, we are going to be using the Half Caked Liquid Lipstick in the color Bordeaux. Or is it 82 Bordeaux? Or is it just, like, it's 82 in the collection, but the name is Bordeaux? I don't know. It says 82 Bordeaux, so I'm going to say that. That's what the name is. Love this red. Like, speaking of red, also, I know my hands is dirty, but tell me uh, this is not the cutest nails. Like, they're like, they're, she calls them red bottoms. I'm sorry. It's the little things. Okay, sis, it's the little things. But I will be back with the final look. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Tell me if y'all liking it. I did go ahead and add some gloss because I don't know why I try to just, like, play myself. Like, I can do that because gloss is me. Um, it is actually um, a lip oil. I have no idea where I got this from, what brand this is. But I will find out for you guys and link it in the description below. This is just something that I found in my drawer, and I was like, oh, it's red, and it's glossy, you know, why not try it? But, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everybody has a very nice and loving Valentine's Day. Even if you don't have a Valentine, I hope somebody in your life loves you, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, or something. Um, make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it. You comment and let me know what you would like to see next and you subscribe to my channel and you share my video you know all those things only if you want to no pressure okay but as always make sure you stay happy healthy and hydrated and i will see you guys in my next video